So we have seen how we can set up the free autos in the Atollo Crew Studio, which is the Eclipse based ID. And now we are going to look into another ID, the Atmos Studio, uh, which is a Microsoft Visual Studio based ID. And um, the processor that we are going to use is an Atmega processor. And um, the steps are almost similar to what we have seen in uh, the previous video for setting up the uh, free autos in the Eclipse based ID. So let's get started. Uh, so we have the Atmos Studio here. So I'm going to create a new project. New project and I'm going to call it free autos tutorial it's going to be a C executive project and the processor will be at mega 32a you can use uh, whatever processor you want but you might have to make some changes in uh, in the free autos config file and also the port file but uh, this uh, the Atmega 32 is uh, drop in compatible with the profile that they have provided. So here I have my my free autos. Uh, uh, sorry, I mean I have my completely blank project in in the Atmos Studio. Um, if I open the location of main, um, now this is the the project folder that I've created. And I am also going to create a um, another window. And in my download, I have this folder here, uh, Free Autos version 10.1.1. Now um, I got this um, the source file from the Free Autos website. Uh, if you don't know how to get that, uh, you can watch the previous video on setting up uh, of uh, Free Autos in Eclipse based IDE. So this folder, I'm going to copy the entire thing inside my uh, my project folder, and this might take some time. So uh, I might just skip the video and I'll get back to you when this is almost done. So this is almost done copying should be done in about a few seconds so here I have it copied inside my my project folder so I will close the other one now um, before I include this inside my Atmos Studio project um, in the free autos folder I will delete some unnecessary folders and why I do this is because I have noticed that I can do this from the uh, Solution Explorer in uh, Atmos Studio, but um, it it hangs a lot and it becomes really slow. So I just prefer uh, just trimming the entire folder right from here. So this demo folder, we don't need it. Um, we can just get rid of the demo folder. let it just work in the background um, and inside the source folder we need these files we need the entire include folder in portable we have different uh, uh, tool chains and each of them contains uh, different ports like uh, if you open GCC it has various uh, ports for various architectures and same goes for IR so um, Atmos Studio uses uh, uh, AVR GCC compiler which is uh, uh, which comes under the GCC category so we need the GCC and we need the memory manage and everything else we can just um, just get rid of so we keep the GCC we keep the memory manage and let's delete everything else and in memory manage um, we can uh, we need to get rid of uh, most of the heap files we just need to keep one so I prefer keeping heap 4 so we have just one heap file and in the GCC folder 
uh, we need to delete everything except for the at mega 323 so this is the only port file that we will need so we can delete everything except for this okay um and now um, we can close this open atmos studio it it doesn't show your uh, your folder so you have to click on show all files and you can see now it will show the free autos now this showed up really quickly but if it had all the other files then this would take like almost ages so this is why i prefer deleting the other files so uh, free autos and we include it into the project so that's done now another file that we will need is um, the free autos config file so i like to create it in a in a new folder i will call it include and inside this folder i will add my my free autos um, uh, config file so if you open this location uh, with inc now you can find the free autos config file from the demo folder so if you if i go back to the to my downloads where i have the the original downloaded or extracted uh, free autos uh, source file and go on demo you can see that there is a demo for atmega avr32 on win avr so open that and you can see that it has the free autos config edge file just copy it into your include uh, folder that you have created so and also in the solution explorer um, you can include this file here so include in project now we have uh, we got rid of the unnecessary files we included the file that we need now the next thing is uh, to tell the compiler uh, the tool chain that uh, we have added some files so go on the project properties go on tool chain and under no C compiler you can see uh, directories so similar to the previous video in Eclipse you can see there are so many similarities here so we have to add to the directory for the three files which is the free autos config the entire include folder and uh, the port file or, or the the folder for the port so the first one that I'm going to include is um, so um, free autos or well, let's include the the include folder itself okay so that's included the second one will be free autos sources include okay I've included that and the third one will be free auto sources portable gcc at mega 232 done so we have included the three directories and now if you go on your main and build this project hopefully it should build it all perfectly and yeah there you can see everything is built fine successfully without any errors